Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Amlan Sekhar as you all know and in this video we are going to discuss about cyber security, cyber forensics and digital forensics. So basically I'm going to discuss about the differences between cyber security, cyber forensics and digital forensics. So I'll start with cyber security and cyber forensics and at the end I'm going to discuss about digital forensics. Now what is cyber security? Cyber security helps to prevent cyber crimes from happening whereas cyber forensics is the investigation of cyber crimes. So basically cyber security is, in, is proactive in nature and cyber forensics is reactive in nature. Now cyber security and cyber forensics are two essential sides of the same coin. Even though they are fundamentals, the core fundamentals of the concepts are similar or same but the application of those concepts are very very different. Now cyber forensics can be broadly classified into three main categories those are software forensics, hardware forensics and mobile forensics. Now one might ask me what is the task or what are the tasks that a cyber forensic professional perform. Now they basically perform five main tasks those are recovery of data. Recovery of data can be from any devices be it laptop, desktop or mobile phones or USB drives, pen drives, anything. Now tracing of digital footprints of a cyber criminal. Now if a cyber criminal has some uh, has committed some sort of cyber crimes now a cyber forensic professional tries to figure out or tries to trace him back the third one is log analysis log analysis is performed to understand what are the activities that has been done in a particular system now log analysis is further continued with system check now once the log anal analysis is has been done the, the system is being checked whether there is a presence of any sort of virus or malware or not now the last one is collection and seizure of artifacts artifacts are something from where evidences are found so collection and seizure of artifacts is a very much important task of a cyber forensic professional all right so these are the main five tasks that a cyber forensic professional perform whereas a cyber security professional performs vapt or pen testing pen testing is being done to find out the bugs in a existing system or in an existing network now other job profiles that they have or tasks they perform is SOC analysis, ethical hacking, malware analysis and reverse engineering. Now reverse engineering is somewhat a grey area between cyber forensics and cyber security. Now it can fall into both of the categories even malware and even the analysis of malware also falls into somewhat falls into cyber forensics and cyber security category. Now basically these are the distinctions or differentiation between a cyber forensic field or the task of a cyber forensic professional and the task of a cyber security professional. Now talking about the scopes of where the jobs mostly lie in between these two categories. Now mostly cyber forensic professionals or cyber forensics is limited to mostly government sector. The, their main employment uh, uh, area sector is in the government sector wherein the investigation works is, is being done. Whereas cyber security, cyber security or cyber security professionals can have a huge prospect in the corporates. All right, Because a lot of everybody needs uh, security of their uh, system all right so that is where the difference comes in now one question that i get a lot is whether a non-it student or a student who is not from computer background can have a huge prospect or can have a good career in this cyber field to be honest he or she can because this field is mainly about your skill set all right even though the recruitment in the government sector is mostly based on the degrees but in the private sector it's mostly skill based you have the if, if you have the required skill you will get easily hired or you will get a good amount of salary right so basically the cyber security and cyber forensics their core concepts are fundamental concepts are very much same one must have good knowledge or commendable knowledge especially to those who are cyber from cyber security or those who have interest in the cyber security field they must have commendable knowledge in network server clouds and uh, database file systems and languages especially c c and uh, python now in case of cyber forensics the advantages that a non-IT student gets is that they, he or she need not to have commendable knowledge on all of these things. He or she, so cyber forensics is mainly done through tools. Now if you can run at least one cyber forensic tool properly, like no one can beat you, you know you are the best in it, alright, you can have a very much good career in cyber forensics because mostly cyber forensics is limited to uses, using of tools to find out data or recover data. For example, if we talk about uh, collection of data from mobile phones, so there is a software from Celebrate which is called UFIT. So UFIT, if you know how to use UFIT, you can recover any data from, from a mobile phone. So it's all, it's, uh, cyber forensics is mostly about the using of tools. So how smartly and how efficiently you can use that tool depends on how uh, much of a good career you will have in that particular field. So this is a basic difference between the uh, from the knowledge point of view. So mostly or mota mota gay differences cyber security cyber forensics. Now 
the last part of this video talking about digital forensics many people tend to believe this that cyber forensics and digital forensics are same it's not same it's similar but it's not same so cyber forensics is a part of digital forensics it's not the entire digital forensics the simplest and accurate definition of digital forensics that i can give is analysis of any electronic evidences now analysis of any evidence that is in electronic or digital form is called or is defined as digital forensics for example audio or video now audio or video is always found to be in electronic or digital form it cannot be found in a hard form all right so thus the analysis will come under digital forensics but it don't come under cyber forensics right this is the difference now when one more example that i would i would like to give now when we do photography or videography of a post mortem or a crime scene and when there is a need to submit those photographs or videographs in, into the court of law as a part of your report you need to give an undertaking of 65b certificate now what is 65b uh, act of it act now what is the section of 65b of it act now it clearly specifies the requirements for the admissibility of electronic records like e signed digital documents or evidence in the legal proceedings so thus for ex so what i want to say is that if a photograph is there in a digital form it's an digital evidence and analysis of that photograph or analysis of that particular document will become a part of digital forensics that is all what i'm trying to tell you ki any evidence that is in digital form or electronic form and their analysis will always come under digital forensics now this is the basic difference between cyber forensics and digital forensics so i hope this video could solve some of your queries about cyber security cyber forensics and digital forensics hope you guys like this video if you like it please give it a thumbs up share it among your friends and please subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye